Okay, so the next thing I did is I just copied this um, new thing that we made in Inkscape. If you just use the plus key, uh, it zooms in a little bit. Um, so you can kind of maximize this if you want to, and then just do a screen grab. Um, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Um, so I'm going to just grab that, copy to the clipboard, and then I'm going to go over to PowerPoint and um, paste it in there. I think this is just the easiest way to do it. And I had built one earlier um, that looks like this using that different color scheme. Um, and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, so I was going to try and do the same thing this one. The same thing with this one. So the idea is to, I don't know, I guess I'll just make it nice and big. Um, but we have two basic scales and they both started with black and went black up to green for the number of sightings and then black up to pink for population density. And so I think I would be tempted to just label those that way. Um, and um, we can adjust the font later if we want to, but basically get that in there. And then I um, added arrows and then I added text in here, which I thought was a kind of a good idea after we talked about it in class. Um, these weren't really, really clear, I don't think. So this one is high, um, population and low sightings and again we can tweak the color and the size of this. This one over here is high sightings and low population. Our sightings are increasing but our um, population density is low and then this one up here is high and high this guy is low and low. So this is uh, high population and high sightings. So maybe it makes sense to, you know, center align these and then make them at least these two white. So let's do that. That's pretty hard to read, but oh well. Um, so a lot of tweaking here. Put in some arrows showing that this is climbing up. Um, directionally and I think I think that's pretty effective then what we can do is either save this whole thing as a JPEG do a file save as um, or you could just do another screen grab and then use this as the legend in your ArcMap document um, but I think the results turned out pretty cool um, we did talk about statistics and the major assumptions that we're making this is made up data we're applying one year of census data to you know, a century of quote-unquote alien sightings, and there are a lot of other gross assumptions that went into this, but the point is to demonstrate the bivariate uh, choropleth technique. So um, as discombobulated as these videos were, I think we've managed to work through it. So questions, let me know. Thanks.